Olá pessoal, nouns em português have genders, they are either masculine or feminine. It's important to know that because nouns influence their surroundings. In other words, articles, numerals, some possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, adjectives are influenced by nouns. Would you like to learn some more about that and practice some sentence transformation in today's lesson? If you do, I invite you to join me! Unlike English, nouns in Portuguese have gender. They are either masculine, o carro, or feminine, a bicicleta. As I said in the introduction, other sentence structures linked to a noun will be influenced by it. For example, if I want to say that the car is blue, well, I must use the masculine definite article O because carro is a masculine noun. O carro. O carro é azul. Now, if I want to say that the bike is blue, well, now I must use the feminine definite article because bike, bicicleta, is a feminine noun in Portuguese. A bicicleta. A bicicleta é azul. The same goes for indefinite articles. I bought a car. Eu comprei um carro. A bike. Eu comprei uma bicicleta. Eu comprei uma bicicleta. Oh, my car is blue. Meu carro é azul. My bike is blue. Minha, uh -huh. minha bicicleta é azul. Now with demonstrative pronouns. This car is blue. Este carro é azul. This bike is blue. Esta bicicleta é azul. Oh, that car is green. Aquele carro é verde. And that bike. Aquela bicicleta é verde. Hmm. Now, when it comes to adjectives, whenever possible, I said whenever possible, they vary in gender. Azul and verde, as you saw, are invariable, yeah? But some other adjectives are variable. For example, um, red, vermelho, vermelho, vermelha, black, preto, preta, so... This car is red. Este carro é vermelho. Esta bicicleta é vermelha. Ah, aquele, aquele carro é preto. Aquela bicicleta é preta. Uh -huh. Let's see other adjectives. This car is new. Este carro é novo. And this bike? Esta bicicleta? É nova. Hmm. Aquele carro é importado. Aquela bicicleta é importada. Ah, below are the links to two very important lessons. One of them is on gender patterns. Watch it because not all nouns that end in O are masculine. Not all nouns that end in A are feminine. And there are nouns that end in other letters. And the second lesson I recommend you watch is the one on adjectives. Well, now it's time to practice some sentence transformation. Take a look at this sentence. O menino ganhou um livro novo. The boy got a new book. O menino ganhou um livro novo. Now let's say that the boy got a new ball. Bola. Bola is a feminine Noun. So, which changes will we make to the sentence? O menino ganhou uma bola nova. Remember what I told you? That nouns in Portuguese, they will influence their surroundings. They will influence articles, numerals, some possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns and adjectives that are linked to them. O menino ganhou uma bola nova. Oh, it was the girl who got a new ball. What changes will we make now? A menina. A menina ganhou uma bola nova. Oh, she's saying, my new ball is very beautiful. 
Minha bola nova é muito bonita. Muito is an adverb. Invariable. Huh? Minha bola nova é muito bonita. And her new doll, boneca. Minha boneca nova é muito bonita. Boneca, bola, are feminine nouns. So, no changes were needed now. How about her teddy bear? Ursinho de pelúcia. Or simply, ursinho. Meu ursinho. Mm -hmm, because ursinho is masculine. Meu ursinho novo é muito bonito. Other examples. Oh, the teddy bear has a yellow cap. O ursinho tem um boné amarelo. E não. Gravata. O ursinho tem uma gravata amarela. Oh, she has two teddy bears. Ela tem dois ursinhos. Oh, she has two dolls. Ela tem duas bonecas. Uh -huh. Now she's saying, these teddy bears are mine. Estes ursinhos são meus. These dolls. Estas bonecas são minhas. Mm. That toy is my brother's. Yeah, that toy car is my brother's. Aquele carrinho é do meu irmão. That bike. Aquela bicicleta. É do meu irmão. Oh, it's not her brother's. It's her sister's bike. Aquela bicicleta é da minha irmã. Da minha irmã. Now it's your turn to practice. In the pinned comment below, there are some sentences where you need to replace the words in bold with the words in parentheses. Make sure you make any other changes to keep the new sentences grammatically correct and share them with me. Review the lesson on gender patterns if you're unsure if a noun is masculine or feminine in Brazilian Portuguese. Thank you for watching another lesson. Don't forget to share your sentences with me. And see you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau!